What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and when it comes to the amiibo defects that we've seen since Smash Brothers amiibo started coming out, I feel like there's been a drop in terms of how insane they've been, which is surprising because I thought that Nintendo's quality control was bad for a reason or bad for a purpose, but the defects started slowly becoming less and less major until now the only defects that we really see are things with a uh, I don't know, like um, parts broken off or missing, something like that. Not like the insane defects where you know you had extra heads coming in the box, extra limbs appearing in places and other things that are really actual defects. Well, now I wanted to cover something else which is claimed as a defect to prove a point to you guys. Now here we're at an eBay page where someone has a defective Palutena amiibo which has an entire arm of gold instead of just you know her gauntlet. And as you can see, this goes up to her, um, this goes up to everything, her entire arm basically, the whole left side. And the reason why I'm saying that these defects have dropped in terms of how intense they are is because now, this is not necessarily a defect that was on the level of the likes that we saw way back in the day. This is just simply color swap or something like that. In fact, I feel as if an amiibo defect like this can easily be emulated by somebody and then put back in the box and sealed up. Now, I don't know if any of you guys have ordered a custom amiibo before. Now, I actually have the Red Robin coming, but I've seen other people's custom amiibo. And what they're able to do is take them out of the box, modify them however they need, and then put them back inside of the box. And it doesn't even look like it's been tampered with. They have a special technique that they use to be able to ensure that the box looks like it was not opened. And for something like this, for this Palutena defect, I do not think that this is an actual real defect. Or even if it was a real defect, it's definitely not worth $1,500 as the listing price. And the seller does say below, however, is their entire hand is not golden and not just a gauntlet. The entire hand is golden, not just a gauntlet. As a reminder, just remember that the price I set doesn't have to be the price you pay. You can offer below when I'm asking. So, what I'm saying here is that this is something that I don't think anyone should pay $1,500 for it because it's a defect that does not seem like it's a, a malformity like the other ones that we've seen in the past. And a gold arm palutena can easily be done by any of these modifiers and then put back in the box and fixed up. Like I said, I'm not saying that this is fake necessarily, but it ain't worth $1,500. From now on, I feel like the defects, the only way that they'll truly be able to pull in a high price tag or pull in a lot of oohs and ahs is if they have something that's extremely physically wrong. And I'm not talking about a piece missing like the Diddy Kong with no jaw. That's not a defect necessarily as much in the sense of the word at least as, you know, when we saw the two heads Marth and whatnot. Even then, the two heads Marth. Think about it like this, guys. I want you to approach ami amiibo defects like this from now on. If the defect can be emulated by somebody and then put back in the box, then it ain't a defect. It, it can't be a defect. And I know that kind of limits what can be categorized as a defect. You're saying, wait a minute, so if it's something that you can do and then put back in the box, which shouldn't be considered a defect, then a lot of the things that did go for high price tags before technically aren't defects. And it's true, who knows, maybe some of these people paid a top dollar for these defected amiibo, when in reality, they were modified and then put back into the box. I'm just concerned about it myself. I don't wanna make it seem as if I'm beating down people who actually had real defects, but make sure it's a real defect. Something like the Samus with two arms, that, is very difficult to emulate. Even though it is possible, it's difficult. That was something crazy. And then um, something like uh, the Peach, who had three arms coming, another arm coming out of the side. You see, things like that are are not necessarily things that you can um, emulate, even if you take it out of the box. Those were actual real defects from Nintendo. So I'm saying to you guys, you know, if you really wanted to be paranoid about it, you can say that even those massive defects are possible to be recreated from just taking them out the box. But I'll give them some leeway. If the defect involves something extremely malformed as to what the norm usually is, then I think it's a defect worth spending money for. But colors different like this, man, just buy a fucking Palutena amiibo, send it to Custom Amiibo or Gonda Chris, and have them change the arm color for you, and bam, you got your gold arm Palutena whether it's is real or not. Um, that's just my opinion though, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you believe that the Amiibo defects now have reached a point where they are no longer considered rare or valuable because most of the defects are things that you can do yourself and then put them back in the box? I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.